Hello YouTube, welcome to the tutorial on how to create time-lapse videos using open source tools. For this tutorial today, we will use raw therapy and blender which are running on Ubuntu 14.04. There are two steps involved here. The first step is to enhance all the images using raw therapy. Then we will use all the enhanced images to create video using blender. Step one is actually optional. If you are happy with the images that you have taken, you can directly use those images, open it in Blender and create video. Let's start with enhancing the images using raw therapy. First, we will load all these images into raw therapy by browsing to the folder where all the images are located. So once the file browser loads all the images, we will double click on any one image which will open the editor for us. Then we will make some uh, basic adjustments to this image for the demonstration purpose. So what I'll do is I'll uh, increase the contrast a bit. I'll saturate the image a bit and I'll do some basic curve adjustments. Let me also change the white balance a bit. So once all the changes are done, we will save this processing profile in a .pp3 file. I'll name this as timelapse underscore test. So now we will go back to the file browser tab, select all the images by pressing Ctrl A or shift and select the last image right click on it go to processing file operations apply my profiles and we will select the profile that we just saved that is time lapse underscore test so raw therapy will apply the profile to all the images now we will add this image to the output queue so now you can see that queue tab shows 432 images we'll click here we will create a folder to save all the exported images. Then I'll click on start, which will basically start creating the files and saving it in the folder that we just selected. So as you can see, all the images are exported now. I'll open Blender. This is the video editing tab that you're seeing now. But when you open the Blender for the first time, it will uh, drop you into this default view. You have to change it to the video editing mode. So this is the video preview window on the right. Then you have video sequence editor where you load all the images. The bottom one is the timeline and the left one is the property window where you can specify all the properties of the video. Now let's add all the images into the video sequencer window. So I'll go to the folder where the images are located. I'll select all. I'll say add image strip. Now you can see that these images are loaded as a strip in the video sequence editor and there are 432 frames. So let me just zoom out. The total video length is 17 seconds and then 23 frames so you can change the frame rate in the properties window and the length of the video changes automatically you can also set a custom frame rate say i'll set it to 20 see the length now it's automatically changed to 21 seconds let me set it back to 24 frames per second now what i have to do is this frame is 432 i have to set the end frame range to 432 so now if I play back this it will show me the video I'll also show you how you can do some uh, basic uh, color correction for this video so this will help if you have not enhanced the images using raw therapy first select the strip using right mouse button then on the properties window on the right go to the end and select add strip modifier 
so there is color balance there is curves there is brightness and contrast you can play with all these values and see how your final video can look like once you're done with the color correction you are ready to render this video so for this we have to go to the properties window on the left and first we will set the resolution to full hd that is 1920 by 1080 then we will select the output folder where the video will be rendered then we will select the video format and the codec i will use uh, avi as the format and uh, i'll use the codec as h.264 and i'll also set the bitrate to 20000 this is the best setting that i could use with blender successfully i tried some other combination of format and codec and for some reason it didn't work out once you set everything click on animation button so as you can see the sequence editor progress bar and video is getting rendered so once it's done rendering i'll go back to the folder where the video is located let me just play it in our next tutorial we will learn how to create time lapse videos using one more open source tool which is Kaden Live. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Bye bye.